Hello, my friends, and welcome to the show. I'm Pastor Robert. This is day four of week 12. Today, we're looking at Jesus reveals truth. Again, our passage is found in Luke chapter 24. These passages are so full of experiences where people encounter Jesus and then how Jesus reveals truth to them. And in our story from this passage with these two disciples on the road to Emmaus, can you imagine how breathtaking it was when Jesus revealed the truth to them and he revealed himself to them when they sat down to eat a meal together. I want you to imagine yourself in one of their shoes. You've heard, you've heard this journey. You've encountered the risen Savior. And now you're experiencing Jesus sharing your truth. His truth about you. That's what I mean by your truth. Your eyes are open, your heart's burning, and your heart's racing because you know that your encounter with Jesus has revealed truth. Jesus reveals truth. How about the woman at the well? In John chapter 4, verses 1 through 45, can you imagine being a part of that conversation? Imagine you're the woman at the well. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. You're having this encounter with Jesus, and Jesus reveals every truth about your life in love. Imagine your heart racing again, starting to burn within you. Is it any wonder that she left her water jar at the well and went running back to town to tell everyone about this man, the Messiah, who told her truth? How about in Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 10, the story where Jesus and Zacchaeus meet one another. And that encounter, Zacchaeus was forever changed because of this encounter with Jesus, because Jesus reveals truth. How about in Matthew chapter 26, verse 30? This is where Jesus tells the disciples that they'll all fall away, that they'll all be scattered, and Peter boldly, says, no matter what, if everyone else falls away, I won't do it, Jesus. I'm your man. I'm with you. And then in verses 69 through 75, we read how Peter denied Christ three times before the rooster crows. And yet then we read on and we find out that in John chapter 21, verses 17, the risen Savior is with the disciples, and he asked Peter three times if Peter loves him, and, G and Peter responds, yes, Lord, you know I love you, and Jesus says, feed my sheep. So the reality is, is that Jesus told Peter that he would deny him. He told all the disciples that they would be scattered, but then he would meet them again after his resurrection in Galilee, and here it is. Peter experienced Jesus' truth twice surrounding one event, Jesus' crucifixion. He denied him three times before the rooster crowed, and then he was back with the disciples, back with Jesus after his resurrection. And Jesus revealed that truth again, that Peter did love him, but that Peter needed to feed Jesus' sheep. I want to invite you to open yourself to God's truth, to ask the Holy Spirit to help you see how Jesus reveals truth in your life. Jesus is calling us to choose him, to follow him and his way. Which way are you choosing? Are you choosing the way of Jesus or are you choosing your own way? I pray that as you consider these passages that I've shared with you, that you'll invite the Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word, that you'll have a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths, and then that you'll act with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to do the things the Holy Spirit reveals to you as you experience Jesus reveals truth. I encourage you to read these passages. Have a blessed day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.